so the, the, one of the first uh, objective is to create a chatbot, right? So for this, we are going to go to this section here and get started, and you're going to create a chatbot. When creating a chatbot, uh, basically you click here and you will be asked for the chat name and the description. This is my first chatbot, chat so I'm going to put first chatbot. And for the description, I can put anything. Uh, this is my first chatbot. Now we supply you with a few templates depending on, on some um, basic requirements that you may have. The usual requirements are uh, the use of uh, a chatbot for for a FAQ, for a free answer questions, or for lead generation, if you're an agency, for example. Uh, a support chatbot, maybe you want to do a mix uh, of FAQ and live chat, or maybe you want to do only live chat. Uh, for this example, let's do um, the support chatbot that will do uh, a mix of things. So we're gonna go ahead and, and create a support chatbot. Uh, this is going to be the predefined template. Uh, this is going to be the start. So if you want to modify the, this, the beginning and, and then the initial message, you can basically change this to whatever you like. Then we have a choices. Uh, what would you like to do? Have a questions or I want to chat with a human. If he goes through the human, uh, then um, we will get started and we will ask for the name for the business uh, email address and for the name of the company. Then as soon as, as, soon as those information are entered, we're going to do a, a Sapier export of those contact details back to Sapier. So you can, uh, after that, move it, for example, to uh, HubSpot or Salesforce or any other CRM tool that you may be working with. Uh, and then we are going to be doing the transfer to an agent. Uh, if they go for the questions, we're going to be showing uh, an option and then we're going to provide them this, uh, some frequent asked questions. And this is the different question, what is A and, and, and where can I find B? And the reply, or the answer for it, for this question would be A is the first letter of the planet, uh, of the alphabet. And B is, uh, you can find B just after A. After that information is applied, then we will do a transfer uh, to the point to what do, would you like to do which is basically this option here. You can test the chatbot by clicking here and you'll see how it's gonna be uh, flowing through the through the diagram in those terms, right? So if I go, for example, if I have a question, it will go through that route. Uh, well, these are some frequent asked question, A, B, and you get the idea, right? Of course, we can then save the chatbot and then um, if, if you want to install this chatbot in the website, then you click on integration code and you will supply with an HTML that you can use to, to integrate it manually. But also we have uh, some other integration, for example, that we have a, a, a WordPress plugin. So if you have a WordPress website, you can easily install uh, the, 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 the widget and configure it. Uh, some basic details will be required, for example, the widget ID and the chatbot ID. We, we will show you uh, where you can find those information during that process. Uh, for example, this is the flow ID. Each, each chatbot will have its own flow ID, so it's good to identify which one it is. All right, so that's for the chatbot section. Uh, the other option that you would like to try maybe is to do a live chat. So for the live chat, you go here and you will see a, a set of visitors. Once, you, of course, you need to install the widget first and you will see a list of visitors where you can click on them and uh, chat with them uh, in real time. And you also get insights and you can see also the conversation of, uh, with the chatbot so you can have a reference what's going on previous to the chat. Uh, for this, I'm gonna do another ex uh, demo in another, in another video probably. So stay tuned for that. Then, of course, you want to integrate uh, with external software. One of the main objectives is to, to get the lead from the website and shift it to the next step of the funnel. So usually for that, you're going to be using uh, uh, some level of integration with another software. That's where enter the Sapier integration. Um, you will need an, an API key, and you will need to configure uh, the Sapier integration uh, uh, 
uh, in order to connect uh, the, the this our system with with let's say Salesforce, HubSpot, or, or anything else. All right, that's it for now. Take care.